What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, KYP561. I'm coming in to talk to you all about Thursday night's episode of Growing Up Hip Hop ATL. Um, I know I've been missing for a minute. I have not done my last two reviews on um, Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. I've had a lot uh, going on. My mom, she has been uh, a little sick. Um, she had been in the hospital for a little, for a little bit, and I went um, to go and be with her for a couple of days or whatever. So I'm just trying to get back on track with everything, meaning work, meaning my home life, meaning just, you know, getting back to me, you know what I'm saying, so, um, thank you all, first of all, for clicking on this video, and, um, before we begin, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel, and, um, leave me a comment, because I do like, um, you know, I like getting comments, I like to see what other people have to say about the video, as well as some of the shit that I may say, whether they agree with it or not, you know what I'm saying, it's all good, you know, we don't know none of these motherfuckers anyway, so, <laughs> really, you know, it's just all, it's all in good fun or whatever. So let's just go ahead and uh, get into it. So of course we're going to pick up where we left off last week where Toya and um, Regine and the, the dumbass mob squad is running down here to corner Brandon off to see what's going on. And according to Toya, why are you disrespecting my child or whatever? So um, I already told you that I like Ayana's position on the whole thing. Toya made a comment of why is Brandon hiding behind this little girl? You know, he's a big guy, this and that and that and the other. And he was not at all hiding behind her. She was just there just in case she had to reach out and touch your ass if just, if just so happened you got wrong with her motherfucking cousin. Because at the end of the day, it is a man, you know. And I felt like that was stupid of you to say, like, you would rather have a confrontation with him. You would rather him be confrontational with you then, you know, to let his cousin step in and level out the playing field. I just thought that shit was stupid for you to say that to you. But, girl, I already got my opinion about your ass anyway. And, um, whatever. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, Brandon is trying to explain to Toya what was going on because she kept talking about why you disrespecting my child. And he was like, hold on, you know, hold a line. You know, you weren't there. So, really... Out of this whole thing, we need to find out who was disrespecting who. So he goes to telling her, you know, what happened and blah, 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 blah. And once he mentioned again about how he told her that he works with people that could possibly, um, that could have possibly helped her father's career. Now, Brandon, let me tell you something. It was all cute in the beginning. I didn't mind you saying it because I knew that you were saying it as a, a, a gut punch or whatever. But after your showcase, bitch, I'm going to need you not to never say that shit again okay i mean because the whole shit was just a disaster i'm gonna go ahead and touch on it on a little bit but like i said after after your showcase or whatever i'm gonna need you not to say that shit ever again okay but anyway so after he after he said that it's like toya just completely forgot about the fact that he was getting into it with the so-called child she goes off and hollering about you know um, that man is a legend and you can't do nothing to help him and this and that and which that's true also and I said that in my last video you know I really don't see what the fuck he could have done to help Lil Wayne's career or whatever but once again he said that shit as a gut punch to get this to get this little motherfucker up off of him you know what I'm saying so you know she goes on to that and then she says you know well you need to what did she say? You need to talk about her, meaning Regine. Don't talk about her father. You need to talk about her. And I was like, girl, what? What you talking about? Why you not? If you're going to be down here arguing with this man and supposedly in defense of your daughter or whatever, because it turned from being in defense of Regine to being in defense of Lil Wayne, you know. And I was like, I don't understand why all these people jumping out to protect Lil Wayne and protect people from talking about him. Bitch, that's not the worst shit that a bitch done said about Lil Wayne, okay? I'm going to tell you that shit right now, you know. But anyway, child, so um then that's what she goes on to talk about why he hiding behind his cousin or whatever whatever but yeah like i said the cousin wasn't there to protect him the cousin was there the cousin was there to get in on your ass if need be okay so um regine um comes in or whatever and toya was basically like listen we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dead this shit because we know how our family is and this shit can get wrong outside of tv so you mean to tell me that your family it's going to get involved with some street shit behind an argument that a motherfucking 18-year-old had. That shit is crazy to me. You know, I was like, D you know, when the fuck do people grow the fuck up? You know, when do people grow up? You're going to see, you're going to, you're going to,
trying to take this shit to a whole nother level behind some shit that your child started. Okay? So anyway, Regine talking about how she ain't apologizing and this and that or whatever. But of course, she goes on to say that they're going to squash it. But then the little bitch get in the confessional talking about how the shit ain't over. So it's like, you ain't going to stop until you see some shit done. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, girl, somebody need to handle your motherfucking ass. Somebody need to handle you. She don't want the shit to be over. She don't want it to be over. Get out of here. You know, <laughs> but like I said, child, they right here running around talking about how you can't be saying this about Wayne and you can't be saying that. Once again, I done heard a whole bunch of way worse shit that a bitch just said about Lil Wayne aside from I could have helped his career. Where's the, I mean, I understand the insult in that, but where is the fucking insult in that? You know what I'm saying? I done heard, I done heard way worse shit. Like I said, I don't, you know, they had, they, they insinuated that the man was gay. You know what I'm saying? When he, when they was uh floating them pictures around uh, uh with him kissing baby in the damn mouth, you know, I, I done heard way, a, a whole lot of shit. I, you know, the niggas on drugs, the niggas a goddamn drug addict. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit. I don't see y'all running up on the motherfuckers that saying that shit, but you going to run up on this man because he said he could have helped your father's career. Both of y'all get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And do you really think that Lil Wayne gives a fuck about what a bitch got to say about him? Because at the end of the day, he is Lil Wayne. He has put his stamp on the hip-hop industry. You know what I'm saying? So do you really think that he gives two fucks about a nigga named Brandon Barnes that don't know motherfucking body know got to say about him? Do you really think that he gives a fuck about that? So y'all finna start a whole motherfucking World War 10 about some shit that I'm pretty sure Lil Wayne can give two fucks about. You know, so I'm like, come on, man. Y'all doing too fucking much. Y'all doing too much. So anyway, child, we go over here. To, uh, oh, then we go back to the little dinner room where everybody was at. Bow Wow done totally hold up, you know. He done totally hold up talking about how Brandon should just go ahead and apologize. No, bitch, I'm with Brandon. Bitch, if I said what the fuck I meant, I'm not apologizing for it. Although, Brandon, once again, make sure you hear me, sir. We don't want to hear that shit come out your mouth again. But I understand why you said it, and I was down for it when you said it, and I'm glad that you're standing firm in your word and fuck the mother niggas, okay? That's the, I'm, 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 I ain't got nothing bad to say about that. Bow Wow wants you to motherfucking uh, kiss ass and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what? Why would I tell you that I'm sorry when I meant what I said? You know, just, just for the sake of what? <laughs> you know, shit, bitch, you a man, I'm a motherfucking man too. And I'm not, you know, I'm not bowing down, you know, so fuck, fuck that. And it is what it is. So anyway, he and I talking about, he's, a, he's just as much of a diva, this and that. So now you in here talking about the man. Well, I was under the impression that this was your dog. You calling him up to go to the strip club, which clearly that man don't want to see no ass shaking in his face. But whatever, okay. So, but yeah, Bow Wow, you shut up. You shut up too. So anyway, and, and, and now times did I recall him saying that he was the one that invited this motherfucker to come. And basically, you fucking ambushed him just like you ambushed Regine because you lied and told him that Regine knew that he was coming when it's clear that she did not know. You know what I'm saying? So, Bow Wow, once again, fuck you and shut the fuck up. So, um, uh, Brandon goes to talk to Deb about, you know, what happened or whatever. Bottom line, Deb said, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them, okay? And going on about your motherfucking business and go ahead and just be done with that shit. She was like, shit, when a bitch say some shit to me, I check their ass at the motherfucking door and I moves the fuck on. I don't let a bitch get under my skin. And I said, God damn it, Deb, I know that's right. Yeah, fuck them, bitch. I'm with you. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, shit. So, um, we go over here to Ayana. I think that's her name. Ayana, she goes, she brings some, some pieces to show her dad or whatever because she wants him to back her with her clothing line. Child, I'm going to get me a motherfucking clothing line, okay? I'm going to just go get me some shit that ain't got no name on it and I'm going to just put my motherfucking name on it and present my shit to the world, okay? See who going to invest in my shit, you know? Because that shit that she showed him, I was like... <laughs> all right okay but anyway child he went on ahead and said child whatever honey i'll write you a check child whatever and and that was the end of that and then she wants him to meet up with amy um i don't know why 
he don't know why either. <laughs> he totally, he was not here for it, but he went ahead and he agreed. However, he did tell her, bitch, if I ain't feeling it, if I ain't feeling her, you know I'm going to let you know, you know. And she seems to have a problem with that. It's like, you know, because it's the same shit that she did with Brandon. She wanted Brandon to meet up with her, but when Brandon expressed his opinion or whatever, she got upset. And I was like, well, what the fuck you thought that they was going there to do, bitch? You know Brandon. So what you thought, what you thought was going to happen? I mean, he ain't in something the damn girl. Girl, he just basically said, bitch, I like you, but I don't like you for my cousin. And it's nothing wrong with that. That's an opinion. At the end of the day, if y'all going to be, y'all going to be, which I don't think y'all going to be, but that's my opinion. <laughs> okay, but so whatever, child. So anyway, um, we go over here to the uh to the bowling alley, child. Bow Wow, really, why is you here? Like, I'm just, <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay, we over here at the bowling alley. They bowling or whatever the case may be, and some, uh, I guess, a bitch just cannot not be on Twitter. Like, how, how are you bowling and on Twitter at the same time? I don't understand. But anyway, child, you got old bitch-ass folk master Flex. He, uh, I, I, he talk about Bow Wow's music is trash. And at first, Bow Wow was on some child fuck that nigga. I don't give, give a fuck about what the fuck he uh, say about my music because my career was not based off of his opinion or his spinning my records or his whatever. I was successful without that nigga. I don't need him to endorse e motherfucking thing that I got going on. And okay, I'm all right with that. But let me just tell y'all how a bitch ain't got no mind of their own. And I don't give a fuck about this particular scenario, but this is just something about you know, life in general, okay? People are so fucking easy, easy to be um, uh, uh, convinced to get into some shit when they really ain't really on that. Because Bow Wow had them pretty much said, fuck that nigga, I don't give a fuck. Then you got his motherfucking homeboys over here and that little nigga that be in the uh, in the studio with JD, the one I think he must got vertigo. If he don't have, is it vertigo? Vitiligo, child, vertiligo. Whatever that shit that Michael Jackson and Tamar say they got, I had that because you know he look like or he's been burnt i don't know but y'all know who i'm talking about they over here talking about oh you got to respond you ain't gonna say nothing you just gonna let him da 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 next thing i know he out here not now him his name his stamp is on on the damn response while everybody else just sitting back looking to see what happened now see this is how motherfuckers end up in beefs and then the motherfuckers that put them in the beef, they're not the ones that reap the, uh, the, they, they don't, they don't reap the, uh, they don't get the repercussions of whatever the fuck that happened. Cause you don't let these niggas don't talk your ass up into getting into some shit with somebody. This ain't necessarily got nothing to do with this Funkmaster Flex Bow Wow shit. Cause I really don't give a fuck. But this is just like I said, in general, you got motherfuckers, you already done said, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Fuck him. Fuck her. Okay? But then you got your motherfucking peanut gallery back here. Oh, if I was you, I wouldn't stand for that. Oh, you got to say something. You got to do this. You got to... But you ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. You ain't got to do shit. Okay? You got to do a damn thing. Okay? Bitch, if you don't like what he said, you motherfucking say something about it. You know what I'm saying? Because, bitch, I am who I am without this motherfucker. Okay? But, yeah. So, anyway, now he's bothered by the shit. Now it's a fucking issue. Okay? Now it's a goddamn issue. So, anyway... Um, we roll over here to Brandon Showcase, child. Brandon say, you know, he's nervous, and which he should be because it's his first, um, showcase or whatever. The room is packed. I don't know about the building, but the room in the building that they was in seemed to have been packed. <laughs> seemed to have been packed. So they had, um, Deb on the panel. They had Big Tigger on the panel. Some other chick that I don't know, she might have been a plus one to somebody that was on the panel. And Bone Crusher, in which I ain't heard nor seen shit from a Bone Crusher since um uh I ain't never scared. And I think I was I was in college then, so that was in the mid nineties or maybe early two thousands. But he was there, whatever. Okay, so um the sound is fucked up. Okay, so so once again, this is this is some shit by some motherfuckers that don't know what they're doing in the first place because your sound that shit is something that should have been checked way in the in the beginning in the early part of the day to make sure that uh, you know everything was good with the sound because bitch your, sh your sound is the whole core of the goddamn show if a bitch can't hear what the fuck it is that the performance is up here saying then what the fuck is we doing here you know what i'm saying but 
whatever child so the, the the performance is shit they starting to perform and as we already know the sound was fucked up couldn't nobody hear you know whatever whatever everybody looking around like what the fuck going on right here so deb she stops the show which was embarrassing but at the same time it was needed okay deb told her ass listen i don't know what the fuck y'all need to do but y'all need to get this shit together because it's disrespectful to these people that they up here performing their asses off and we don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> so anyway child they um they eventually got the sound together so then we go back over here to dinner with dad okay so in my opinion uh ayana you wasting everybody's time okay you wasting your motherfucking daddy's time to meet this damn girl because this girl is not the one for you okay it's clear that she really don't want to be bothered with your ass okay because when they showed the little clip or when she agreed to meet with your dad, that motherfucker ain't even want to kiss you, okay? It's like, I don't know what she on this show for, what it is she trying to get accomplished or whatever, but she ain't, that girl ain't here for you. She might like you, you know what I'm saying, as a as a little kiki or whatever, but that girl don't like you like that, child. Mm -mm. You just something to do until she get to whatever the fuck it is that she trying to get to, okay? So anyway, um, um, the daddy, she would have told, oh, that... Ayana and the girl, they don't really get into it, but they kind of have a little exchange because Ayana, Anaya, I don't know what this girl name is. Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. She pretty much says that old girl is bipolar because one minute you want to be bothered, the next minute you don't want to be fucked up with me, and I, I need to know what the fuck's going on. Uh, old girl says that she don't see it like that, and, you know, that may be a problem. Motherfucker, daddy said, well, bitch, maybe you need to scoot the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe you need to, we all need to go ahead and end this shit, okay? Because for one, we already know that the daddy is not really there for his daughter being gay, okay? But I see that he is making an initiative. He's not just being outright rude or disrespectful or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He is entertaining the shit because he loves his daughter. But we all know that man. He ain't with that shit. He ain't with it. You can see it all over his face. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, old girl, the daughter, Anaya, she gets upset because he said that. Okay, but for one, you don't want it's dirty uh 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 show uh issue not y'all dirty laundry. You know what I'm saying? You you put that shit out there. But then you get mad it's like you want him to accept your relationship with her but you don't want him to have an opinion on it and if that's the case you should have did like he said keep me out your motherfucking personal life unless somebody's doing some shit to you you know because other than that i don't want to know nothing about what the fuck you got going on so girl you need to pick your poison child i don't know but anyway um back over here to the showcase child like i said they did fix the um the sound or whatever um i wouldn't say that the performers were trash because they did look like they were performing their hearts out, okay? Um, that little group, Brave, um, maybe uh, their performance was better than what they than the, the piece that they showed on the show. I don't know, because none of them ain't really moved me, okay? Um, but Deb, for some reason, she seemed to be going up for, for Brave. And then she also was going up for the Honeybee chick. Now, Honeybee, why the fuck would you get on here and perform a song that your ass don't fucking know or that you're not comfortable with performing it? You did that shit in the goddamn rehearsal. So from the time of the rehearsal to the time of the damn showcase, but you weren't practicing if this is the song that you thought would be the best song for you to perform. Like, what the fuck was you doing between then and then? You know, but motherfucking Brave. Brandon, for you to be a goddamn uh what you what you say you is a damn artist developer bitch you need artist motherfucking development why would you ever jump your ass on the goddamn microphone and chastise her in front of these people because she fucked up not true enough when you do fuck up you ain't supposed to let everybody else know that you fucked up bitch if you got to start humming break dancing i don't know what the fuck it is that you got to do to fill in that gap until you can get it together but you don't stop and start looking around and looking crazy okay another thing about me that some of y'all might not know it said maybe unless you know me personally okay i used to be a singer like okay i ain't never made no records i ain't never been on the radio did no tour no nothing no shit like that but i could have and maybe I should have, but life just took me in another direction. But I have performed enough to know that bitch, because it, it, I had this thing where maybe the 
two or three minutes before it was time for me to sing, I would forget the whole goddamn song. I mean, I would forget the whole fucking song and I would have to tell somebody, give me the first line of the song. I mean, I'm holding the microphone in my hand ready for a bitch to announce my name for me to come out. And, and this was something that happened with me for years and I used to be so petrified that in the middle of me singing, I would forget the fucking words. So what I would do is, I would practice some shit just in case I did forget the words, a motherfucking hum or ad lib or uh, something, you know what I'm saying? Just in case that shit happened to me, thank God it never did. But that was always a fear of mine instead of me be and I guess that was just a, uh, um, a part of me being nervous. Like my palms didn't sweat, I wasn't shaking or no shit like that, but I would forget the whole goddamn song, you know? But yeah, you have to, you have to be prepared for shit like that. Don't just roll your ass up here and then when you forget your damn words, you don't know nothing to fill that shit in with. I mean, give a shout out to the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Give, you know, do, do some shit. I don't fucking know, but do any damn thing except for just, you know, looking around and shaking your head and shit because when you do that, everybody know this motherfucker done fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever. But anyway, child, they goes outside because Brandon done called the motherfucker off the stage and told her he wanted to take the microphone off. I said, oh my God, Brandon, why would you <laughs> Why would you ever? But anyway, child, he did. They goes outside, Deb goes outside to see see what's going on. She pretty much get his ass to business like, bitch, that's not how you handle shit. And he, she told her ass, that's not how you handle shit either. You know, but what she did that was different than what Brandon did because Brandon couldn't understand how could Deb tell this girl the same exact thing. But when Deb said it, it clicked with her. But when he said it, she was looking like, I still don't know what the fuck going on right here. The difference was, true enough, Deb did tell her the same thing that Brandon did, but... Deb gave her a solution to the problem. Whereas, Brandon, all the fuck you did was just rah, 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 and a bitch don't want to hear that, okay? I, I I know that I fucked up, okay, bitch? I was there. You know what I'm saying? I know that I fucked up, so I don't need you to tell me again that I fucked up, but how about you give me a solution or give me a strategy or something to where if I do fuck up again, how can I fix it? You know what I'm saying? And that was the difference. So, child, uh, Deb had to... Stole old girl from up under him. He ain't even, bitch, that bitch hadn't even blinked his eye. The shit happened so goddamn fast. And then when they went back in, bitch, the whole goddamn show from there on out was Debs. But I can't fault nobody but Brandon for that. Because truth be told, them motherfuckers really want to work with Deb to begin with, okay? But for some reason, they feel like they got to start at the bottom. The bottom being Brandon and then eventually work their way up to Deb. Because that's going to happen to him a lot. And when you bring your mother into your business, you make her available to these people. And especially when, when the shit comes out that you really don't know what the fuck you doing. <laughs> okay? But anyway, child, so of course he's upset about that. He's saying that him and Deb's relationship is fucked up right now because that was some fucked up underhanded shit that she did. And he just got his shit and he sashayed his ass on up out of there. So, um, then we go over here to, I think I might have missed this part, but we do end up seeing little bits and pieces of Regine's party or whatever. I don't give a fuck, but she said that she wasn't going to mention the shit to her dad at the time. However, the shit ain't over. And I was like, girl, get get out of here. So anyway, y'all, that's it for um this episode. And I think that they said we only got one episode left. So um I guess I'll go ahead and, and close it out or whatever. Although I did jump in five damn episodes later, but y'all already know. Anyway, um, happy 4th of July. Um, I don't think um Love and Hip Hop come on tomorrow. I'm not sure. If it do, I'll be reviewing it. <laughs> and if I, if it does not, um, happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, thank y'all once again for watching the video. So until next time, y'all, peace out. <laughs>